Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Storage Account Redundancy options that we have. So, when we talk about a redundancy, there are two different things which can happen within a primary region. So, let's say you have LRS, which is locally redundant storage. Other one would be the zone redundant. So, it means that uh, both the cases actually the data will be uh, synchronized continuously uh, within the given number of physical locations let's say within the lrs that is within the local data centers it is actually going for a three physical copies so three physical copies it's going to copy so whatever the storage account you have chosen as lrs that's going to actually copy within the three different locations so what if, if one storage uh, unit goes down other two are there that means uh, it's not a single site failover you have other two copies locally available so for you there is no outage and when it comes to the zone redundant storage yes you do have the data along with these three it's going to actually copy uh, across the three availability zones in the within the primary region it's going to copy so what happens is it's going to be uh, synchronously that means the data once it is copied it might take a little bit of a delay and it's going to copy paste the similar information to other zones other type of durability uh, when when we look at uh, we talked about the lrs which is coming actually 11 lines 99.11 lines but as the zone specific uh, redundancy we are talking about the table lines and when it comes to geo redundant that means not just one region one zone it's gonna uh, geographically it's gonna copy paste that same information it maintains that it's going to be another region that's a, a zone or zone specific that's a 16 lines and coming back to the zone uh, with geo you are actually getting about 16 lines uh, and this is very you know rare case where you're gonna you know fail you right so you have the high availability and durability and their limitations so let's take one scenario to understand let's say i have a storage account and i configured when i was creating as lrs so what could have happened is within that microsoft infrastructure so there was a down or outage of a storage unit completely in that situation it's going to predict either you choose lrs or zrs or grs or gzrs also so what what does it means is the data is already available locally also in another two different uh, storage units so you actually get the data as it is and there is no impact for your storage account that means there is no outage for you but if the entire data center goes down so we talked about here one uh, one of the storage unit was down in the in this case within a data center but whereas here the entire data center goes down you cannot get your data in lrs but you can get the data with a zone redundant that's a zone to zone it's going to you know uh, transfer the data so you have that option and grs and gzrs also you have the option and coming back to the a region wide complete outage let's say complete east or west us such kind of a complete region is outage then you can only get it from a uh, geo redundant but not from the zrs even and uh, let's actually go ahead and and also remember that these all these options you might be you know, thinking that you know this is a great option because it supports everything or maybe this grs is a great option but it's not supported all type of the storage accounts so you need to you know, make sure that you know if you're choosing lrs uh, it can only support general v2 purpose and also the v1 for blobs files and um, a blob storage also uh, but not for the uh, here if you see if you want to create here a block storage or blob storage you cannot do it in the z0 right? so that's a limitation when you try to create so let's jump into the azure portal and try to create one of the storage accounts so from azure portal you can click on storage then click on add to create a new storage and choose your resource group and when you try to create here a storage account this should be a small and it should be a unique name so i'm going to give here as uh, storage account so i just giving you a random name so that that's going to be my storage account name 
and I'm going to choose here as the East US and I have here the option that I have to choose whether I want to you know, go for performance based like a standard or premium. If you remember, you know, if you see here, if I choose it as soon as the premium, it's going to, you know, giving me not all the options like, you know, we used to have with the standard option like geo redundant or maybe read access geo redundant so what happens is with the grs you have one more option called read only option that's it read access only will be available so that's becomes as the cheaper a uh, little bit of coster and little compared with the geo and that becomes as the uh, read only or read access geo so you can uh, you cannot enable all this with the premium because it's a at this point of time it's costly so they are not offering these features but you can choose here but you want to you know, configure a storage account too if so also you have all these options if you remember this is what we talked about in this table about the supported storage account types and uh, you can choose the one which you wanted and in our case we are actually uh, configuring here let's say LRS at this point of time or maybe GRS so later point I can actually replicate this so I'll just go for default if you want to know uh, the storage account to be more secure to only happen to enable to communicate within your VNets you can enable that option so that you are actually securing so I'm not going to do all that um, I'm not going to enable any additional configuration at this point of time because we talk these in the storage section a uh, lot about the storage account so creation and all that so we'll just you know create the storage account that's the default options another storage you can go create and let's go to the storage account and have a look on geo replication and if you see within the geo replication currently east us is the primary location and if you see here the initial replication was not yet happened um, if that uh, initial synchronization happened to the secondary uh, we can actually fail over for the geo replication so in the back end what happens is it's going to actually change the dns configuration to fail over back to secondary location that's what this uh, demo we are going to do it let's understand with the ppt when a user writes any of the data to uh, storage account it actually goes and right into the primary region and in three different copies that's what we talked and all this information gets replicated with a synchronous format to the secondary region and what happens if the primary region is completely unavailable this information definitely it was not written to primary region that means it cannot even reach to the secondary region so user cannot access cannot write anything so what needs to be done we need to actually do a failover to the secondary location so that it will be available to the end user so to do that failover we would actually go to Azure portal and do the uh, complete failover from here so you just have to go here and do the failover steps directly within the Azure portal once the uh, synchronization or the replication happens after a couple of minutes if I go back to geo replication I should be able to see here as the complete replication has completed from East US is the primary and west us is the secondary now i can do even the prepare for failover if in the behind scenes it's actually changing the dns pointing so if i just go back to under settings uh, for the properties you see here my files and file services or queues or whatever the storage account pointings would you not know, change back in the back end automatically to the failover uh, storage account uh, this is completely automatically done so let let me show you that you know uh, for the preparing the geo failover so i'll just click on geo replication prepare for failover the first uh, and foremost information would be here it says that hey you're going to fail over to this point of time that's the uh, last sync time and post to that anything uh, it was not synced it's you're actually going to lose the data so that's what it's gonna see and this can be enabled for our AGRS as well as the uh, your GRS basically GRS anything with the GRS can be done so that's what it's gonna say so if you you know consent as yes uh, give the confirmation it's gonna fail or after a couple of minutes I'm gonna actually lose the primary east location and I will be only pointing to the west US so that's what it's gonna 
uh, do so at this point of time there are two one would be the primary and secondary when i fail over to the secondary location primary will not be available so that's what uh, it's going to happen now the failure is completed as you can see here just now it took some time maybe 10 15 minutes and if i just go ahead and do without doing the refresh also i can see here only the west us is there so what was the change now so earlier uh, it was pointing to east us now it is pointing to the west us and if you see here this has been completely converted into grs to lrs why i'm calling as lrs because it is just to the one location with the three copies within that uh, data center now it's time for us to if really want it to be secure post to the failover you can go and convert this storage account type to the again grs if you point to the configuration you can see here it is currently as lrs and you want to you know configure to the grs you can do that very well and you can save that so what would happen is it's going to actually change back to again one more time to the grs so that would actually uh, take some time to affect with the grs so it's going to uh, fail over to again I mean, if we want, we can do the failover, but this time it's going to uh, make as the West US as a primary and the East US is a secondary and it takes some time for the initial uh, replication later point it does uh, all that. So this is how it's going to work. I hope this actually is useful uh, in terms of the configuring the GRS for the geo replication and the failover configuration. Thank you for watching this.